Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. After more than a decade of lobbying and two years of construction, the new Baganagishig School has been officially dedicated. Reporter Sherelle Moore is live tonight to tell us more about the building. Sherelle? Thank you, Dennis. There are countless people who are involved in making this dream a reality, and most of them were actually present at the dedication ceremony. Many say it was a long time coming. After years of lobbying, fundraising, and plain old hard work, the Bugganajishig School is finally ready for teachers and students. In some ways, it is absolutely overwhelming, and in other ways, it has been such a rewarding walk to get here. The entire project costs $11.6 million. There's a new science room, smart boards, a new tech lab, a special education room, and new classrooms. The school staff was a big part of the building process. We have outstanding teachers here. They all had input into the design. So if they had a particular area, like the science lab, was designed according to the way the teacher wanted it. The school was originally built in the 1970s as a place for Ojibwe culture. The groundswell of all of this was our community coming together and organizing and um, creating a um, place for our students and the thought process behind it was um, education through our lens. That original idea will not be lost. Many of the classes will integrate the teachings into their lessons. We have an entire wing of the school that's dedicated to Ojibwe studies and Ojibwe drum and dance, Ojibwe art. Registration will open tomorrow. A few goals of the staff is to increase enrollment and also inspire current students. The other thing that we want the school to become is a hub for the community where parents can come in, uh, community groups, activities. We also want it to become a teaching facility for area colleges and universities as well. As I stated earlier, if we can see ourselves in the classrooms and if we see that reflection of ourselves in our classrooms, then our children see it too and they see that vision of success. So that's our intermediate goal, I guess, if you will, for our future with the school. And teachers will begin moving into the new building in two weeks. School will then start for students on September 4th. Dennis, back to you. All right, thanks, Sherelle, for that live report tonight. Right now, there are 75 students enrolled in the high school. The school staff hopes to increase that number by about 30 students each year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.